if you are under the sound of my voice right now just know your light has come and your life will never be the same without wasting much of our time let us lead the way for today on 26th january we are going to read from matthew chapter 9 verse 2 some people brought to him a paralyzed man on a mat seeing their faith jesus said to the paralyzed man be encouraged my child your sins are forgiven our text today is looking behind the problem there is something interesting in our text today jesus faced a paralyzed man he faced someone who was sick and what was expected to the people around and even to us was be healed so that the person should really get healed but jesus did not say be healed he simply said be encouraged for your sins have been forgiven what does it mean it means the problem was not the paralysis but the problem was the hidden sin which was with the person was the hidden sin which was the cause of what the person was experiencing many times in our life we focus on the things which are not really a solution we focus more on the problem without focusing on god so that god should reveal to us what really is the problem when we don't have money we focus on how we should get money we focus on getting the money without knowing the cause of our lack of money when we don't have a good relationship when we don't have a good marriage when we don't have a child we focus on having a child we focus on getting a business we focus on getting married we focus on having a business we focus on getting educated we focus on getting a job without knowing that the lack of all those things is a case from our home village is a case from a person we talked some bad things previously we fail to notice exactly what is behind our problem i want to tell you today that the cause of your financial instability may not be may not be because you don't know may not be because you are careless with money but it could be that someone cast you out there that you shall never touch money you shall never grow in your money you shall never go up in your business you shall never get married you shall never have a child it's not that you are looking for a job it's not that what you need is a business what you need is not a marriage partner what you need is not a stable relationship what you need is for you to be relieved from the cases of your life be encouraged for that case to your finances it is being cancelled in the mighty name of jesus you are going to find a job in the mighty name of jesus whosoever cast you that you shouldn't find a job that case has been lifted up in the mighty name of jesus whosoever cast you that you shouldn't have a stable marriage that case has been lifted up in the mighty name of jesus you are going to enjoy your marriage in jesus mighty name you are going to enjoy your relationship in jesus mighty name you are going to have stable finances in jesus mighty name your relationship your marriage your finances are going to be stable for those cases against them they have been cancelled out today in jesus mighty name it's not really what you are experiencing but you must focus on something behind that problem it could be sin which you did or which your parents did previously and you are becoming affected because of those things it has been cancelled out in the mighty name of jesus all generations cases have been cancelled out in the mighty name of jesus you shall experience the glory of god you shall experience the manifestations of the glory of god in the mighty name of jesus 
not all problems are indeed a problem in your life some problems are there to lift you some problems are there to promote you some problems are there to encourage you to empower you you must open your eyes wide to see what is happening to see what is happening with your life look at what happened to paul when we read 2 corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 the bible says paul to him was given a thorn to the flesh not because he deserved it but the bible says it was there just to humble him so that he shouldn't become proud of the many revelations he was receiving so it was a thorn in the flesh just to humble paul so paul was humbled by a problem it can happen even with you sometimes you may be experiencing certain problems those problems might be there for your benefit may be there to promote you may be there to protect you you just don't know let your eyes be opened and see exactly what is happening with your life that you are lacking money it might be there to protect you for this for, for this moment it might be there to protect you in this period you may never know look at what happened to joseph joseph was hated by his brothers but the bible says when those brothers sold him they didn't know that they are transporting him to a place of his destiny when others are hating you god is loving you when others are hating you god uses that kind of a hate to promote you to love you to encourage you to heal you to give you what you desire the destiny of joseph was in egypt and he was lacking a destiny connector to connect him to egypt but the destiny connector was his own brothers they sold him to egypt it was his transport for him to be a prime minister it can happen with you the problems you are experiencing are just there to promote you just open your eyes and see clearly what the lord is teaching you each time you meet a problem you must be asking yourself that lord lord what are you trying to teach me inside this problem to every problem in your life there's something you need to learn there's something you need to sing out and that one will be your promotion don't just just look at a problem but look behind your problem look behind the cause of that problem that cause can be something that has been standing for ages just a case to make sure you don't get that which you are lacking i want to pray for you that may every case in your life be cancelled in the mighty name of jesus and may the good lord open your eyes so that in whatsoever you experience you must know that this is what the lord is speaking you must know exactly what is happening inside your problems may the good lord bless you in the mighty name of jesus